morning. This reading will be for the collective. This will be a timeless reading. So, whenever you find this reading, is when you were meant to see it. And we'll see it in plain. Take a deep breath and think about your question or your situation. One more shuffle. Spirit and guides, please deliver me a message for the higher good of a collective. Deliver me a message for the collective, for the higher good. Spirit guides and angels, may I have cards for this reading, please. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Cups, I feel like this could be new love coming in. This could be someone who is ready to give you a proposal of some kind. And uh, Four of Pentacles. I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, this is going to be a change. Um, but this is going to be a change in your favor. This is a change from your ordinary. I feel like with this change you're desiring long term security yes definitely because you have the ace of pentacles as well so yeah this is definitely a new beginning um, this very well may be a career reading because you have a proposal a change are you changing jobs are you looking for a new job are you desiring more security in your job? Because with the Ace of Pentacles, this could be a, a new career. This could also be a promotion. This, this could definitely be new income coming in. You have the Queen of Wands in the middle energy. You have the Emperor, you have the Five of Cups, and you have the Tower. Okay, just one more card, please. <clears throat> yeah, with this Queen of Wands energy, um, she's very bold and assertive. She's actually... The most beautiful of queens. She's very similar to the Empress. Um, 
Yeah, more pentacles. Okay, the king of pentacles. Yeah, this this could definitely be a career job or career reading. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the judgment. So, as I said with the queen of wands, she's very fiery energy. She's very bold and assertive. And I believe that if you assert yourself in this interview or this promotion that you will get, then I believe that with the emperor in your near future position, um, I believe that you're actually going to boss up. You're actually going to receive this promotion. This promotion is yours. It's yours for the asking. And it looks like the, the job that you have right now is something that is going to be hard for you to leave behind. But I feel that, you know, it, it's always hard to say goodbye to something that you're used to. But this is going to be changed. This is going to be total and drastic change. It might be a shock to your system at first. Going off and stepping into a new journey of a new job or promotion, but I think it's going to be fulfillment. You also have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, he's going to bring you a solid stability. He's a solid and practical leader. He, um, he's very wise. And I feel like with this move that you're making to a new job, position, promotion, that th this is actually a very wise decision. It's a actually going to bring you a lot of success when it's all said and done. <clears throat> and you have the judgment on the bottom. So with this energy, this is going to be like a rebirth. You are actually inspired by this promotion even though you don't want to leave the old job behind you are kind of renewed this is going to be a renewal for you this might actually change your finances for the better this might be a big jump I think this is a this is a great decision. Now I'm not a financial advisor, so take this advice with a grain of salt. Um, but yeah, spirits spirits telling me that this could actually be something that could very well change your finances for the better. Spirit guides and angels, can you please deliver some clarity to this message? Can I clarify this message, please? Can I have a card for the Knight of Cups? The King of Pentacles, again, yes. So with the Knight of Cups, you also have the King of Pentacles. So this is definitely a career reading. This is definitely career or finances. And can I have the wheel? Okay. So you've been planning for this for a while. This is something that you've been hoping for. You've been waiting for word on this. You've been waiting for results. And now the wheel is actually turning in your favor. The wheel is, yeah, you're going to get a message about this. You can plan to receive a message within the, within the next couple of days or so. <clears throat> at least a week, week and a half at the most. You can receive a message. I'm going to move these down a little bit. I hope you can still see these cards. Okay. <clears throat> Can I have a card for the Ace of Pentacles, please? The Ace of Pentacles. Can I have a card for the Ace of Pentacles, please? 
Okay. Yeah, this is actually going to renew your finances. You may be, have been just making it lately. And you're trying to make ends meet. This is actually going to make things a lot easier for you. With the Queen of Wands, you have the Queen of Wands. You are definitely a beautiful, attractive woman. Follow your intuition. This is Spirit letting you know that you are capable of anything you put your mind to. Use your intuition and follow the, the lead. You are a natural leader. You're very charismatic. You're very strong and courageous. You're very assertive. Look, she's the most beautiful queen in the deck. She's very close to the empress. Her cat symbolizes her intuition. Use your intuition when it comes to this, making this move. Spirit is letting you know you are fully capable be assertive at this time. Okay, and may I have a card for the Emperor, please? Okay, the judgment again. So yeah, not only are you bossing up, but you're also... You're also renewing what you have lost. I feel like everything with this, um, maybe you lost something in the past. Now this is, this is pushing you towards the direction of your true life's purpose. Definitely. I think this is actually delivering you clarity about the situation. But I'm definitely feeling like there's a renewal of your spirit. You're, you actually feel a weight lifted off of you. With the Five of Cups, you have the Knight of Wands. And so I think that, that although you don't want to leave the position that you're at now, I believe that, that there will be quick action. You will. You'll be ready to go once you hear the offer that you're about to receive. And the tower. May I have a card for the tower, please? Yeah, the Knight of Wands. You've been holding out for this. You've been wanting this. This is something that you have kind of dreamed about. And Spirit is letting you know you're at the finish line. You are at the finish line. You're so close. Don't give up. And may I have a card for the King of Pentacles, please? I feel like saying to you that even though this is going to be a dynamic change in your life, I believe it's going to bring you a lot of joy and a lot of happiness and financial security. That's what Spirit is letting me know right now. Yes, definitely. Because with the King of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Two of Cups. And you have the Nine of Swords. Now with the Two of Cups and the Nine of Swords, I feel like this is something that you're going to love doing and you're going to be supported even though you're scared even though you may be anxious or you fear making this move 
you are supported. You are fully supported. And the universe is providing this gift for you. You not only have the Queen of Wands twice, you also have the Ace of Pentacles twice. Spirit is letting you know this is for you. You also have the Judgment twice and the King of Pentacles. This is, this is Spirit letting you know that all of this is for you. You just need to reach out and grab, grab it, reach out and claim it, and don't, don't let your fears and anxieties get in the way. Bottom of the deck, the Emperor. You know what? Yes, you are definitely bossing up. Now you have the Emperor twice as well. This is this is definitely a career and financial reading. And I feel like what you've been wanting is actually coming to you. All you have to do is claim it. You've already put in the work. This is something that you've been waiting on. And I feel like it, it's yours. Definitely. New moon in Taurus. Know your worth. Definitely. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. You are bossing up in this situation. You are a bad, excuse me, you are a bad bitch up in this house. You hear me? And you got this. You got this. This is such a great reading. I'm actually really enjoying this one. Okay, you have two cards. Two cards wanted to stick together. The first one, full moon in Leo. Be strong. Be strong in your decisions. Stand firm. Go wild. And full moon in Virgo. Take inspired action. That's it for the reading. If this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings. And thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy for you, Collective. I, I feel like if this is yours, claim it. Claim it now. Many blessings to you. Love and light.